sentences. As you all know, only a group of words can make a sentence. In other words, a group of words which makes complete sense is called a sentence. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, a question mark or an exclamatory mark. Now let us rearrange these words to make sentences. We should also remember to start the sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. Rahul, batsman, great is a. Does the sentence make sense? No. Let us arrange these words into correct sentence. Rahul is a great batsman. Yes, this sentence makes sense. Like Max, teacher, I, the. This is not a correct sentence. I like the Max teacher. This will be the correct sentence. Runs the horse fast very. Let us correct the sentence. The horse runs very fast. This will be the correct sentence. Tells us the time clock. Let us correct the sentence. The clock tells us the time. This will be the correct sentence. Mohan, his brushing teeth is. Let us correct the sentence. Mohan is brushing his teeth. This will be the correct sentence. There are four types of sentences. They are assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, exclamatory sentence, and imperative sentence. Assertive sentence. A sentence that makes a statement is called an assertive sentence. Interrogative sentence. A sentence that asks question is called an interrogative sentence. Exclamatory sentence. A sentence that expresses strong feeling is called an exclamatory sentence. Imperative sentence. A sentence that expresses a command or a request is called an imperative sentence. Now let us see some examples for interrogative sentences. Who is the author of the great epic Ramayana? Here, begin the sentence and the name of the book with a capital letter and end the sentence with a question mark. Who is the author of the great epic Ramayana? Where is your house? In this sentence, there is no proper noun. So just begin the sentence with a capital letter and end the sentence with a question mark. Where is your house? When did you come back from Delhi? In the sentence, we have a proper noun. So begin the sentence with capital letter, begin the proper noun with a capital letter and end the sentence with a question mark. When did you come back from Delhi? Now, let us see some examples for exclamatory sentences. What a wonderful garden! Here, begin the sentence with a capital letter and end the sentence with an exclamatory mark. What a wonderful garden! I am very happy to see you. Begin the sentence with a capital letter and end it with an exclamatory mark. I am very happy to see you. Hooray! We have won the match. Begin the sentence with a capital letter and use the exclamatory mark wherever necessary. Hooray! We have won the match. Now let us see some examples for assertive sentences. The horse is galloping very fast. The monkeys are hanging from the tree. 
Gopal is watering the plants. Now, please, let us see some examples for imperative sentences. Can you help me? Will you stop making noise? Excuse me, can I come in? Nouns As you all know, the noun is the name of a person, place, animal or a thing. This is a girl. Girl is the name of a person. This is a school. School is the name of a place. This is a dog. Dog is the name of an animal. This is a table. Table is the name of a thing. Crow, duck, pigeon, sparrow and parrot are the names of the birds. Doctor, teacher, policeman are the names of the professionals. Sister, brother, father, mother are the names of relatives. Frock, pant, shirt, sari are the names of the dresses. Pumpkin, onion, cucumber, radish are the names of vegetables. Car, bus, scooter, auto rickshaw are the names of vehicles. Lotus, sunflower, rose, lavender are the names of flowers. A person is given a name based on the work or the profession he does. There are many kinds of nouns. The kinds of nouns we are going to see now are common noun, proper noun and collective noun. Common nouns are the names that are used in general or in common for any person, place or thing. Let us see some examples. This is a school. Here, school is a common noun. This is a book. Here, book is a common noun. A Let us see some examples where common noun is used based on the work or profession of a person. Person who sells flowers is called a florist. A person who is in charge of a library is called a librarian. A person who is in charge of a ship is called a captain. A person who studies the stars is called an astronomer. A person who flies an aeroplane is called a pilot. A person who writes books is called an author. A person who stitches clothes is called a tailor. A person who sells medicine is called a chemist. A person who makes things from clay is called a potter. A person who entertains in a circus is called a clown. Proper noun. Proper noun are also called as special noun. These are the special name given to a particular person, place, animal or a thing. Let us see some examples to understand this better. Mohan is running. Here, Mohan is the special name given to a particular boy. We went to the marina beach. Here, marina is the special name given to a particular beach. I have a pet called Spooty. Here, Spooty is the special name given to a particular cat. 
I have a VIP suitcase. Here, VIP is the special name given to the particular brand of suitcases. Let us see some more examples to know where we use special nouns often. My name is Preeti. My father's name is Ravi. My mother's name is Shalini. My friend's name is Priya, Manju. I study in CNT school. The name of the city in which I live is Chennai. The name of our Prime Minister is Dr. Manmohan Singh. The name of our President is Pratibha Patil. My favourite sportsperson is Sachin Tendulkar. The name of the country I would like to visit is China. Collective nouns. Collective nouns are the names we use for a group of things or a collection of things. Let us see some examples for collective nouns. A herd of cattle. A bunch of grapes. A swarm of bees. A forest of trees. A flock of birds. A bale of cotton. A tuft of grass. A brook of chicken. A chest of drawers. A bouquet of flowers. A troop of dancers. A bevy of beautiful girls. A pride of lions. A crew of sailors. A fleet of ship. A crowd of people. A constellation of stars. A board of directors. A pack of wolves. A bundle of sticks. Verbs. The words that tell us what a person, animal or thing is doing is called a verb. As it tells about the action or what is being done, it is also called as an action word or doing words. Let us see some examples. Swimming Dancing Writing Talking Hopping Sleeping, singing, jumping, running, playing, reading. Now, let us find the suitable verb from the word search and fill in the blanks. We can dash dirty hands. What will be the apt word? Wash will be the apt word. We can wash dirty hands. We can dash a cake. The apt word to be filled in the blank is bake. We can bake a cake. We can dash a meal. What can be the apt word? The apt word will be cook. We can cook a meal. We can dash a dough. Find out the apt word for this blank. Yes, it is open. We can open a door. We can dash the truth. The apt word to fill in the blank will be tell. We can tell the truth. We can dash an orange. We can peel an orange. We can dash a song. 
We can sing a song. We can dash a ball. We can throw a ball. We can dash a book. We can read a book. Now I'm going to teach you where we can use is, am and are. Let us learn this with some examples. Is is used when we talk about a singular noun. Am is used when we talk about ourselves. And are is used when we talk about a plural noun. The rose dash a flower. The rose is a flower. There dash tigers in the jungle. There are tigers in the jungle. I dash a clever girl. I am a clever girl. Elephants dash large animals. Elephants are large animals. The donkey dash a hard-working animal. The donkey is a hard-working animal. The kitten dash very naughty. The kitten is very naughty. I dash going to zoo. I am going to zoo. There dash a computer in Alok's office. There is a computer in Alok's office. Those bananas dash ripe. Those bananas are ripe. I dash talking to my friend. I am talking to my friend. There dash 12 months in a year. There are 12 months in a year. These cakes dash stale. These cakes are stale. Now I am going to teach you where we can use has or have. We use has when we talk about a singular person or thing and we use have when we talk about many persons or things. Let us learn this with some examples. The door dash a handle. Here, the door is a singular object. So, we use has. The door has a handle. January dash 31 days. Here, we are talking about a month. So, we should use has. January has 31 days. Indra and Ajay dash bananas for breakfast. Here we are talking about two people. So we should use have. Indra and Ajay have bananas for breakfast. How many pages does this book dash? Here the number of pages is plural. So, we use have. How many pages does this book have? Do the children dash pens? Children is the plural of child. So, let us use have. Do the children have pens? Hanif dash a pet cat. Hanif is a singular noun. So we use has. Hanif has a pet cat. An insect dash six legs. Insect is a singular noun. So we should use has. An insect has six legs. An apple dash small seeds. Apple is a singular noun. 
so we should use has. An apple has small seeds. The boys dash no courage. Here, the boys dash no courage. Boys denotes plural noun, so we should use have. The boys have no courage. Akash dash a bicycle. Here, Akash denotes a singular noun, so we should use has. Akash has a bicycle. Now I am going to teach you the usage of was and where. We use was when we talk about a singular noun and we use where when we talk about a plural noun. Let us see some examples. The horse dash in the stable. The word horse means a singular animal. So we should use was here. The horse was in the stable. The train dash late. The word train means a singular thing. So we should use was here. The train was late. The windows dash shut. The word windows denotes a plural thing. So we should use where. The windows were shut. The grapes dash sweet. Grapes is the plural of grape. So we should use where here. So we should use where. The grapes were sweet. There dash many stars in the sky. There were many stars in the sky. The boys and girls dash friends. The boys and girls were friends. Rahul dash late for breakfast. Rahul was late for breakfast. Dinosaurs dash huge animals. Dinosaurs were huge animals. There dash a lamp on the table. There was a lamp on the table. Ramu dash taller than Somu. Ramu was taller than Somu. Articles A, an and the are called the articles. We use A before words that begin with a consonant sound. We use an instead of A before words that begin with a vowel sound. We use the when we mean a specific thing. Some words may begin with a vowel but may have a consonant sound. In such words we use a uh, before the words. For example, Gopal has gone to study at a university in England. Annie Mary is a European. In these cases, the pronunciation of U is YU and Y is a consonant. Now, let us see some examples where we use a uh. nose. Here, N is a consonant, so we have to use a. Uh. A uh, nose. House. Here, H is a consonant, so we have to use a uh, here. A uh, house. Frog. Here, F is a consonant. So we have to use a, a frog. Fox, fox starts with F which is a consonant. So we use a, a fox. Pear, pear starts with a P 
which is a consonant, so we use a, a pair. Now let us see some examples where we use an, ox. It starts with o, which is a vowel, so we have to use an here, an ox. Umbrella. This word begins with a U. U is a vowel. So we use an. An umbrella. Apple tree. This starts with A, which is a vowel. So, an apple tree. Ice cream. Ice cream starts with an I. So, we use an. An ice cream. Arrow. The word begins with A, so we use an. An arrow. Now let us see some examples where we use the. Universe. Here we should use the. The universe. Taj Mahal. Here we talk about a particular monument. So, we say the Taj Mahal, Himalayas. Here, we talk about a particular mountain range. So, we say the Himalayas. Bible. The Bible is a particular holy book. So, we say the Bible. Moon. We talk about the particular moon here. So, we say the moon. Let us read this passage and understand the concept better. A and an are called indefinite articles. When we talk about something for the first time, we use an indefinite article. When we talk about it again, we use the. The is called the definite article. The definite article is also used when we talk about a particular thing. There lived a monkey in an apple tree. The monkey had a regular visitor which was a crocodile. The monkey and the crocodile were good friends. They spent hours and hours talking under the apple tree. Here, when we first introduced the monkey, crocodile and apple tree, we used the article A. But when we spoke about them again and again about them, we use the definite article the. Now let us fill in the blanks with A, an or the. Elephant. Elephant starts with E, which is a vowel, so we should write it as an elephant. Peacock. This word starts with the letter P. P is a consonant. So, we should write it as a peacock. Sun. This word starts with S. S is a consonant. But we should use the. The definite article because we mean a particular thing. Teacher. This word starts with the letter T. T is a consonant, so we should write it as a teacher. Umbrella. Here the word starts with U. U is a vowel, so it should be an umbrella. Pronouns. We use I and me when we mean ourselves. They are used instead of the name of a single person. We use we and us instead of the name of two or more people. I, me, we and us are pronouns of the first person. Example, I love to eat ice cream. Will you buy me one? We love to eat ice cream. Will you buy us some? We use you 
when we mean a person or persons we are talking to. You is the pronoun of the second person. Example Can I help you do your homework? I know you are an obedient student. We use he or him when we talk about a man or a boy. We use she or her when we talk about a woman or a girl. He, him, she, her are used instead of the name of a single person. We use they and them when we talk about more than one person or thing. He, him, she, her, they and them are pronouns of the third person. For example, he is my brother. I saw him on the beach. She is my sister. I spoke to her yesterday. They are playing. Did you call them? We use it when we talk about a thing or an animal. Example, it is a very small toy. I have a pet dog. It is very cute. See this table. Now let us find out the pronouns and color them. The pronouns are we, us, he, they, you, them, my, mine, him, I, me, the, she, and her. These are the pronouns. Now let us find out the pronouns from the following sentences. Roshan is my friend and I play with him every day. The pronouns in this sentence are my, I and him. I will get the first mark if I study well. Here the pronoun is I found in two places. We saw three elephants and all of them were huge. Here the pronouns are we and them. Ritu gave her cat a bowl of milk. Here the pronoun is her. Deepak is doing his homework. Here the pronoun is his. Now let us rewrite some sentences using pronouns in the place of nouns. Raja is a teacher. Raja lives in a town with Raja's mother and father. We have used the name Raja three times. Now let us use pronouns and correct the sentence. Raja is a teacher. He lives in a town with his mother and father. The noun Raja is replaced with he and him which are pronouns. Priya is a cute little girl. Priya is my neighbor. Let us rewrite this sentence now. Priya is a cute little girl. She is my neighbor. The noun Priya is replaced with she, a pronoun. Manoj, Sheetal and Vimal went to the beach. Manoj, Sheetal and Vimal were flying kites. Here the sentence should be like this. Manoj, Sheetal and Vimal went to the beach. They were flying kites. The nouns Manoj, Sheetal and Vimal are replaced with the pronoun they.
Mrs. Rama bought some vegetables. She put them into the basket. Here, the noun Mrs. Rama has been replaced with she, and the noun vegetables is replaced with the pronoun them. Adjectives Adjectives are words that describe a noun. They are also called as describing words. For example, this is a beautiful rose. Here the word beautiful is an adjective because it describes the flower. Let us see some examples where colors are adjectives. The grass is green. The rose is red. The table is brown. The sea is blue. The sunflower is yellow. Now let us try and fill in the suitable adjectives in the blanks. The sun is dash in color. The apt adjective would be yellow. The sun is yellow in color. The bunch of roses are dash in color. The adjective can be pink. The bunch of roses are pink in color. The trees are mostly dash in color. The apt adjective would be green. The trees are mostly green in color. The sky is dash in color. The adjective would be blue. The sky is blue in color. The crow is dash in color. The adjective is black. The crow is black in color. Numbers are also called adjectives because they help us to know how many person or things are there. For example, I have two books. Some adjectives also tell us the order in which a person or thing stand. For example, Neetu got the third prize. Now, let us fill in the blanks with adjectives of numbers. The monkey has dash legs and dash tail. The monkey has two legs and one tail. A cow has dash legs and dash horns. A cow has four legs and two horns. A car has dash wheels. A car has four wheels. June is the dash month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. A triangle has dash corners. A triangle has three corners. Let us see some examples where adjectives describe a noun. A small animal. Here, small is the adjective. A big house. Here, big is the adjective. A sharp pencil. Here, sharp is the adjective. A tiny bird. Here, tiny is the adjective. A clean park. Here, clean is the adjective. Now, let us see some examples where we use two adjectives which has the same meaning for a single noun. This is a small rabbit. This is a tiny rabbit. The sun is hot. The sun is warm. The elephant is big. The elephant is huge. Ritu is a happy child. Ritu is a cheerful child. Roshan's room is neat. Roshan's room is tidy. Adverb Adverbs are words which tell us 
when, where, and how something is done. Words like today, yesterday, tomorrow, soon and late tell us when something is done. Words like near, far, here, there and between tell us where something is done. Words like fast, slow, swift, gentle and happily tell us how something is done. Let us see some examples to know where we use when, where and how. We will go to the beach tomorrow. Here, tomorrow is the adverb which tells when something is going to be done. A J runs fast. Here, fast is the adverb which tells how something is done. Keep the hat inside the box. Here, inside is the adverb which tells where something is done. I want you to do it today. Here, today is the adverb which tells when something has to be done. Tortoise walks slowly. Here, the adverb is slowly. It tells us how something is done. The children were playing in the park. Here, the adverb is in. It tells us where something is done. I go for a walk every day. Here, the adverb is every day. It tells us when something is done. The deer ran quickly into the forest. Here, the adverb is quickly. It tells us how something is done. I went to a circus yesterday. Here, the adverb is yesterday. It tells us when something is done. The bird heard the noise and flew away. Here, the adverb is away. It tells us where something is done. Now, let us see some examples where the sentence tells us how something is done. The man spoke softly. Ajay wrote his homework neatly. Vinay drove the car slowly. It was raining heavily. The lion roared loudly. Now let us see some examples where the sentence tells us where something is done. Neha went outside the house. Ramu is playing inside the house. The little lamb followed Mary everywhere. There was a bird sitting on the tree. The mouse ran down the clock. Now let us see some examples where the sentence tells us when something is done. I went to the hospital yesterday. I am going to Delhi tomorrow. I go to school daily. The train will be coming late. We should always help others. Prepositions Prepositions often tells us the position of something. Let us see some examples. Prepositions There is a dog behind the cupboard. The book is on the table. There are flies around the sweets. A cat is sitting near the wall. The cap seller is sleeping. Look at this picture and find out the prepositions. There are many things on the table. There is a ball under the table. There is a chair near the table. A girl is sitting on the chair. There is a door 
behind the chair. Let us choose the correct preposition from the options. The boy is hiding dash the tree. What will be the apt preposition here? Behind will be the apt word. The boy is hiding behind the tree. The girl is standing dash the two trees. The apt word here would be between. The girl is standing between the two trees. The crow is flying dash the sky. The apt word here would be in. The crow is flying in the sky. The flower vase is dash the table. The apt preposition would be on. The flower vase is on the table. Clouds float dash the sky. The apt word here would be across. Clouds float across the sky. Conjunctions Words that join words or sentences are called conjunctions. And, or and but are called conjunctions. Let us see some examples where and is used as a conjunction. I went to the beach. I played cricket. By using and we can join both these sentences. I went to the beach and played cricket. I have one brother. I have one sister. These two sentences can be joined like this. I have one brother and one sister. The weather is pleasant. The weather is beautiful. Write it like this. The weather is pleasant and beautiful. Praveen likes singing. Praveen likes dancing. Praveen likes singing and dancing. We played football. We played cricket. We played football and cricket. Now let us see some examples where or is used as a conjunction. Are you going to Madurai? Are you going to Salem? We can join these sentences like this using or. Are you going to Madurai or Salem? Would you like to drink something hot? Would you like to drink cold? Would you like to drink something hot or cold? Is this book yours? Is this book hers? Is this book yours or hers? Ramu wants to be a doctor. Ramu wants to become an engineer. Ramu wants to be a doctor or an engineer. Did you see Manu in the beach? Did you see Manu in the circus? Did you see Manu in the beach or in the circus? Now let us see some examples where but is used as a conjunction. Sheila is tall but Mala is short. Sunil is fat but Anil is thin. Mohan's father is a doctor but Ashok's father is an engineer. The elephant is a huge animal but cannot run very fast. Roses are red 